morning, Bears. Hope your morning is great. Tuesday is election day, and the building will be closed to all students while the staff is actively involved with in-service training. Students, if you're 18 years old and you've registered to vote, take advantage of the opportunity to actively participate in the democratic process. To get informed on the candidates and issues on the ballot, League of Women Voters has a nonpartisan dedicated organization dedicated to informing voters about all candidates and issues. Simply visit lwv.org. Juniors, if you would like to take the ACT-SAT combo test prep class at UAHS on November 11th, you must register by next Tuesday, November 7th. See the College Center or check Schoology for the link to register. This week, Nick took a look at seniors Dante Landolfi and Molly O'Connor's capstone and how it supports a cause that is dear to them and many others in the Barrington community. This past Monday, fourth grade and formal students at Barrington held a pep rally in support of Beat Michigan, Beat Cancer. Okay, so this project is something we did nine years ago as the fourth graders. Um, we both lo lost people we love to ovarian cancer, and we decided that this would be a great idea to uh, raise awareness. It's called Beat Michigan, Beat Cancer, and this year we're bringing it back. Yeah, so we're working with, um, at Barrington Elementary School with Miss Workington's and Miss Benton's fourth grade class, and we're teaching the fourth graders how to put on a raise and put it all together. That's going to be this Saturday, November 4th. Seniors do a capstone project where they focus on something that is important to them. Dante asked me if Dante asked me if I thought I wanted to do this event again, and here we are. Thank you so much, Mrs. Benton and Mrs. Workington, for taking on for taking this on and making this a reality. This is a real legacy now, and I love that so many kids can be a part of it. The 5K race and one mile fun run will take place tomorrow, starting at 8:30. All proceeds will benefit the Ovarian Cancer Research and Education and Gynecology Fund at the James Cancer Hospital. And for WARL, this has been Nick Biziano. It's not too late to register to run the 5K or one mile fun run. Ava Keithler and Emma Zid also have capstone events taking place this weekend. On Sunday from 10 to 11 a.m., Ava Keithler is hosting a free workout class at the Jones Track. Bring a yoga mat and get ready to sweat. And Emma Zid is hosting a 5K at 9 a.m. on Sunday at Griggs Reservoir. Bring old running shoes to donate to the Homeless Families Foundation in Columbus, Ohio. And now to Madeline and J. Cole with sports. Welcome back to sports this week. On, Oct on October 29th, Kendra Sheehan committed to swim to Ohio University. She is one of many UAHS students um, to continue their athletic careers in college. For athletes who have committed to play in college, Drop by the athletic office to sign up so you can sign your letter of intent next Wednesday morning before school. See Mr. Rossetti in the athletic office for more details. The Columbus Crew SC potentially played their last home game this Tuesday. Seabus ended their reign with a huge 4-1 win in the Eastern Conference semis against New York City FC. After placing 14th last Saturday at Cross Country Regionals, Heidi Heyerman secured herself a spot at state this weekend. She shares her thoughts about her season as a whole. Junior Heidi Heyerman has individually qualified for the Ohio Cross Country State Meet two years in a row. Heidi shares her thoughts on the season and how she's accomplished so much. The season's been really good. We have been really good as a team and um, we're really close to making it to the state meet and hopefully we can make it as a team next year and um, we've all bonded really well this season. My parents and my older sisters have been really supportive and great influences on me and the seniors and I'm really excited to be able to compete this weekend. Heidi will be competing November 4th at National Trail Raceway. Come watch her at 1230 as she represents the team and the Golden Bears. This has been Madeline Nichols for WARL. Congrats to Heidi on continuing a long-standing tradition of great cross-country runners at Up Arlington High School. Looks like she'll be crossing up her opponents at state this weekend. Come out to National Trail Raceway at 1230 to watch her support, to support the Golden Bears. The Bear Den is currently in a high bear nation <laughs> until after Thanksgiving. <laughs> until after Thanksgiving break. See what I did it over that bear pun, Madeline? <laughs> I definitely see what you did there, Josh. Now to Nick and Kylie at Lifestyle.
officially announced that a live-action remake of childhood classic The Lion King will release on July 19, 2019. The remake includes Beyonce as Nala, Donald Glover as Simba, Seth Rogen as Pumbaa, <laughs> Uh, just to name a few. So, so expect to see many grown adults and teens in the crowd opening weekend. A poll done by NBC4 asked how old is too old to trick or treat. With a close end result, 20% of voters said 12 years old, while 21% that thir said that 13 years old reaches the benchmark of being too old. Sorry, guys, but it looks like we should stick out, stick to handing out candy. <laughs> Speaking of kids too old to trick or treat, Sydney Lowe checked in with senior band New Youth. Hey, what's up? My favorite song to play, it's called New Brains, it's about a ex-girlfriend, <laughs> and I wrote it in a fit of rage. Mine's probably a classic tangerine, it's one we wrote, and it's just got I don't know, I just like, I like the sound of it. Some groove. I've been playing bass guitar since like third grade. Joey and I started playing first, because uh, we were like hanging out and we discovered that we both play guitar. I was like, hey, you want to maybe like start a band or something? And I was and like, no. No, he said, he said yeah. I was like, yeah. The thing we would like you to know before you attend a show. First of all, wear closed toed shoes. Wear closed toed shoes. Second yeah. of all, get a little rowdy. <laughs> Third of all, wear some clothes that you don't really care for because it gets pretty wild. It gets bloody. <laughs> a little blood. <laughs> and uh, last of all, just have a good time. We're just some high school boys playing some good tunes. So come on out, bring your friends. Yeah. There you go. This has been Sydney Lowe reporting for WARL. This group of seniors had their first show in May and are currently working on their EP that will be released on Spotify sometime this month. So, so keep your ears open, Bears. Spanish Honor Society held a fundraiser called Flowers for Puerto Rico. Congrats to Officer Rice, who won a $25 gift card to, Ch to Chipotle. Thank you to all who took part. Uh, there's a college EF tour coming up uh, in the spring. Lejana Soff has more on these trips. Boston to New York is a week-long EF tour that prepares students for the college experience. Students will get an opportunity to visit colleges and universities based on student preference. There will also be some sightseeing of famous monuments and a Broadway show. The estimated cost for this trip is $2,554, and it is paid in monthly installments. This is Lujana Soft reporting for the WARL. Thanks, Lujane. If you want to know more about the trip, contact Mrs. Hughes. Now back to Zenobia and Kate. In recent news, a man found a rodent eating his Sour Patch Kids out of the wrapper at AMC Lennox. So be careful the next time you go to catch a flick. You might be lucky enough to catch a new pet too. Ms. Wilson's class is collecting unwanted leftover Halloween candy to send to the troops overseas. Please drop off donations to room 153 or Ms. Wilson's mailbox. Dugan took a look at the handmade haunted house on Essex Road. Uh, welcome to Halapalooza. 2017. This is our 11th year of doing this. Um, we started in 2004 with uh, I think it was Star Wars. Typically, we build theatrical oh, no. stuff on the oh, inside, God. Oh, my and then God. have about 225 kids come through for Halloween. Keep it down, honey. She's got all the uh, power tools. And, um, so this year's theme was uh, Carnival. Was going to be. Uh, uh, fun house, uh, house of terror. Uh, my wife built a, uh, a vortex in our living room, and then a maze through the, the dining room. So it was a labor of love, about 30 days from start to finish. Oh my God! Uh, another satisfied customer. Wow, Dugan, I didn't realize your voice went so high. 
Students, today is the last day sub to submit your photos for the annual photo contest. Submissions after 4 p.m. will not be accepted. Seniors, today is also the last day to turn in transcript request forms and counselor letter of recommendations for applications with the December 1st deadline. Coming up on next week's show, we'll take a look at Fall Follies and Signing Day. Remember, it's time to fall back. Daylight savings ends Sunday at 2 a.m. when clocks roll back an hour. That means this weekend everyone has an extra hour to do homework, sleep, or something fun. It also means that our daylight hours are continually shrinking. That trend will continue until the winter solstice on December 21st. And remember, nothing good happens after 2 a.m., except for daylight savings ending. Have a good weekend, Bears.